hello guys welcome to today's tutorial session in today's video we will learn how to calculate the average value for various waveforms and there are four pretty simple steps that you will go through in order to find your average value one you would have to find or identify your cycle that is one and two you will note down the period of the cycle three you would have to identify the area under the cycle and when you are done, you divide the area that you found by the period of the cycle to obtain your average value. Pretty simple. So we have the formula for finding average value over here. That is AV is equal to 1 over T. The T is a period integrating from 0 to T. This FT here is your function, dt, And you should be able to get your average value. In other words, it is the same as finding the area of your function okay and dividing the whole area by the period that you found so this is pretty simple let us work on some examples so that we understand this very well right so in our first example we will try and find the average value for this waveform so the first step is for us to identify our cycle and from this, we can see that the, start, the cycle starts from 0 and ends at 4. Because at 4, you see that the cycle will start again like this, onto 8, from 8, then onto 12, like that. So our cycle, you can see that cycle starts from 0 and ends at 4. Our period. So if your, your cycle starts from 0 and ends at 4, your period, that is T, automatically is... Oh. So now the third step is for us to find the area under the cycle. So let's see. We will see that when I extrapolate this line to 4, we can see that the cycle contains this, uh, let me see, rectangle and this sawtooth. So let me say the sawtooth is A1 and the rectangle is A2. So we have to find the area for this sawtooth and find the area this rectangle and add them to get our total area under the cycle right so let's start with a2 finding the area under the rectangle so we can say that the period is from 0 to 4 and our function under the rectangle is 5 and the t we are saying that the function under the rectangle is 5 because in my previous videos I said that the function of a rectangle or a square is always the amplitude. So looking at this tri um, rectangle, you can see that the maximum value or the peak value under the rectangle is 5 as you can see over here. So now the function is 5. So we will find the area under this rectangle. So we see that 5 is a constant, so 5 will come out and we are integrating from 0 to 4 because the period under the rectangle is from 0 to 4 as you can see here. So it will be left with just the T. So the area, so that is the area under the rectangle. When we integrate the T, we will see that we will have just T, but we are integrating from 0 to 4. So by substitution, we can see that the area under the rectangle, that is A2, is 5, bracket open 4, minus 0. That is the same as 5 times 4. So the area, we can see that area under the rectangle, under rectangle, under rectangle is... 20. So now we are to find the area under the sawtooth. That is, you integrate from 0 to t and the function of the sawtooth is t. Then we should get the area. But then we see that we have this line, which is a straight line. And then from straight line equation, that is y is equal to mx plus c, we can find the intercept, that is c, the gradient, 
from this line so let's say here is 0 and 5 and we have here to be 4 because the x axis we have 4 and the y axis that is the amplitude we have 10 so we can see that if this is x2 this is y2 here is supposed to be x1 y1 so we can see that gradient that is m is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 so by substitution y2 is 10 y1 we have to be 5 all over x2 that is 4 minus 0 so we can see that our gradient that is m is 5 on 4 so then we can see that our function is vt which is equal to gradient that is 5 on 4 x but in this case we have our x as is to be t so we will see that 5 on 4 t and c that is our intercept okay so let's get back to the diagram c is an intercept i mean where this line cuts the y-axis so from this diagram we can see that this line cuts the y-axis at exactly five so our c is five that is positive so plus five so now this is the function under the sawtooth so then we, if we integrate from zero to four and put a function over here and integrate we should get the area under the sawtooth so a1 will be equal to integral from 0 to 4 your function will be here 5 out of 4 t plus 5 dt which is the same as 0 to 4 5 on 4 t dt plus integral from 0 to 4 5 dt so then a1 will be equal to we can say that 5 out of 4 is a constant so we will bring it out so from 0 to 4 here will be t dt 5 is also a constant so 5 will be out from 0 to 4 dt so then a1 will be equal to 5 from 4 when we integrate t this will be t squared on out of 2 from 0 to 4 plus 5 integrating the t will be just t from 0 to 4 as well so then a1 will be equal to 5 on 4 by substitution you have 4 squared on 2 plus 5 times 4 so a1 by computation we can see that here will be 10 plus 20 so a1 will be equal to 30 so the area under the sawtooth is 30 but we know that average value is equal to the total area under the cycle all over the period of the cycle so we have the area that is a1 plus a2 that will give us the total area and we'll divide by the period of the cycle a1 we had 30 a2 was 20 all divided by 4 that is the period of the cycle so average value is 50 on 4 so average value will be equal to 12 0.5 volts very very simple so in our second example um, we also try and find the average value under this cycle so one as usual we will identify our cycle so let's see the cycle starts from zero goes up like this comes this way and ends at 0 0.6 and starts again so we can see that our cycle is from zero to 0.6 right then we identify our period so automatically if your cycle is from 0 to 0 0.6 your period will also be from 0 
the period sorry will be 0 0.6 right so now we have to find the area under the cycle so let's see under the cycle we can see that we have a rectangle and this straight line over here and it starts again like that so let's say i'll say a1 and let me say a2 over here so under the cycle we have a rectangle and this straight line on this x axis in this case t so we will say that our function will look like um, a piecewise function so let's say the function of the rectangle will be 40 which starts from 0 and ends at 0 0.3 and we also have this a2 that is this straight line on the t axis will have a 0 and it will also start from 0 0.3 and ends at 0 0.6 Right, so we said that the function under the rectangle was 40 because we've proven that, or in my earlier videos, I said that if you have a rectangle, the function under the rectangle or a square is always the peak value or the amplitude. So wherever you see a rectangle or a square and you want the function, it is always the peak value or the amplitude. So that is why I have 40 here. So now the next step is for us to find the area for this, uh, the rectangle and the straight line but bear in mind that the straight line has an area of zero right so the only task here is to find the area under the rectangle so we can find the area under this rectangle by using integration so it starts from zero and ends at 0 0.3 as you can see over here and the function is 40 dt so A1, that is the area under the rectangle, we can see that 40 is a constant. So we bring it out, we integrate from 0 to 0 0.3, and here we'll be left to just dt. 40, when you integrate dt, you will get t, and we are integrating from 0 to 0 0.3. So we can see that A1 will be equal to 40 times 0 0.3 and this should, should give us 12 so the area under the rectangle is 12 a2 as i said that is the straight line from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 is 0 so the total area under the cycle let me see area t is a1 plus a2 and it should give us the total area so we have 12 plus 0 so our t total area under the cycle is 12 and then we can see that average value is the same as finding the area of the function in this case ft dividing by the period of the cycle so we have area to be 12 and the period under the cycle is 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 so then your average value will be equal to 20 volts very very simple like that so um these are some try questions for you guys to you know work out and see if you are okay or you understand the average value concepts very well so we have one number one to be this waveform and the average value is three amperes so when you work it out and you get three amperes then hooray you've you've gotten the concept we have um number two over here which looks like you know a triangle or something you know and the average value is one volt okay so please try your hands on these and let's see your comments under the comment section ask any questions that you want and we will get back to you thank you